So, it's been a while since I've done, like, a pickups video. I've actually never done any one for the YouTube channel or anything. But, uh, you know, my local group, Torg, it's been a while since I've posted pickups. And I figured, uh, since it's now after Christmas and everything's kind of come and settled down, I'd kind of show off what I've gotten, because, let's face it, we're video game collectors. We like dick showing contests. Uh, the three things I'm not going to bring up in this are... A brand new PS4, um, a Vita, and a Vita TV. I'm just not going to bother holding them up. And you guys have seen the shit out of them. So I'm going to start with uh, stuff. Might as well. Uh, old school AV to HDMI connector. I'm really excited about this because this might make streaming GameCube and shit like that a shit ton easier. So that's nice. Um... A box for Earthbound Uncut, I literally just, it didn't really cost me much, which is to say it cost me nothing, but it was neat. I kind of wanted it. I kind of want to get a little bit more into repro games and things of that like, which uh, Earthbound Uncut, I mean, yeah. Um, the other thing I won't be grabbing down because I just don't want to is a Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior 4 manual that I picked up. Uh, start with the system no one gives a crap about, Vita. Um, I just picked it up for the first time, so... Soul Sacrifice. Uh, Mega... How do you pronounce this one? Mega Tagmentia Blanc vs. Zombies plus Neptune, which is one of the Neptunia side games. Gravity Rush. Which has, oh, it has the VR cards in it. Grand Kingdom. Freedom Wars, Super Weeb Trash, uh, Danganronpa, and this big bastard, which was only like 25 bucks at GameStop, because no one wants Vita stuff, and that's Fadex Stelia, the Umbra Star, which I mean, comes with your normal fanfare anime bullshit with cards and art book and of course you know a pillow comfort for perverts like the case though man it's nice shelf born uh that goes over there let's like it's that section um nes stuff was pretty light uh except oh no one's a big hitter uh, mega man 3 mega man 4 and mega man 5 so, I, I finally finished out my classic Mega Man NES set. Uh, for Switch, we got Mario Odyssey. And, you know, the Christmas game everyone bought. And Tiny Barbarian DX. I don't know much about the uh, the company that's doing this, Nicalis. They're putting out, like, a bunch of older games that, like, didn't seem to get a lot of love. Oh, the reverse cover of this is so much better. They're putting it in, like, actual manuals and shit. Um, they also did a physical release of Cave Story, which, if you've not tried that game, it's amazing. Uh, it's one of, the, one of the very few games, like, you're like, if you can't find a physical, download it. It's really worth the money. Uh, let's move on to my, you know, we'll switch that up a little bit. Move on to PS1. I'm slowly moving back more over towards collecting PlayStation stuff. Which, actually, yeah, let's let's get the Nintendo stuff out of the way then before we move into PlayStation. So I'm moving gradually back towards it. Um, we Tales of Symphonia, the Dawn of the New World, which I've heard is not nearly as good as the first game, but I didn't have it. It's like eight bucks. Uh, and the last for my Nintendo stuff was a raffle winning for a plaque from a world, Nint world of Nintendo that sits atop my shelves and looks very pretty. And uh, I really don't know how much this thing is worth in particular, but it's so cool I'm not getting rid of it. So it doesn't matter what it's worth. It's worth everything to me. Um... Yeah, PlayStation. We'll move on with PlayStation 1 first, then we'll go to 2, and then we'll go to... Actually, no. 4. 
four, then one, then two, because two is my big collection, and I'm picking indecisive. So as I already said, brand new PS4 Slim. Didn't want to go for the Pro just because that is, it's not worth it. Not for me. I don't have a 4K TV or anything. Uh, those guys need to stay out. Um, Yakuza Zero and Yakuza Kiwami. The Yakuza games are the best games no one's playing, in my opinion. Um, if you're able to put up with cinematic games. And they're very much cinematic games. But when you get to the actual combat of the game, the brawler aspect of it is done amazingly. The story, like, that's the main story, is pretty good. And the uh, the mini games are some fun, some fun dumb bullshit, for sure. Tekken 7, because I'm a huge Tekken guy. Uh, Resident Evil 7. I, that reminds me. I have to wrap something really quick. Nier Automata. Akiba's Beat. And this bad boy. Slide out of position for a second. Oh. Brand new fight stick. I've been wanting one of these. It's a PS3 one. I've been wanting one of these for... About three years now, and I just never wanted to pay the price for them. And uh, Warp Zone down in Columbus happened to have some good fight sticks for 50 bucks. And uh, I believe they might still have the 360 one if you're looking for one. And shout out to Warp Zone, Forever Games, Rock'em Sock'em Retro, all, all my favorite stores in Ohio, honestly. Alright, close that up. And least, but or not. Last but not least, uh, certain other member of the group who's a good, good friend of mine. You see him on the podcast almost every time we do it. AJ Lanigan decided for Christmas to be a super bro and get me a limited run game of Windjammers. Which, again, if you've not played this and you can't, I, it's a pain in the ass to get a hold of physical. This game is fucking balls out fun. If you've not played it, you, it just download it. it. Really, you're doing yourself a disservice not playing it. Especially if you have friends over. Alright. On to PS1. And, uh... Something that ran me quite a bit, but I had not seen one nice, uh, as nice a copy of this. So... Lunar 2 Silver Story Complete... Or not Silver Story Complete. An Eternal Blue Complete. Um, and it has everything, it has the stickers and all that dumb shit, like all working designs games do. And, uh, I'm actually really excited about this. I eventually need to get to playing Lunar 1 and then this. My backlog is fucking crazy. Um, and then here are my last couple of games. Gundam Federation vs. Zeon. I'm a huge Gundam fan. Uh, at least, I I'm definitely more towards the traditional, like, uh, story arc stuff that they did with the Federation Zeon rather than some of the offshoot stuff like Gundam Wing and things like that. Though I, one of my favorite suits is from Wing, so. Uh, the Shadow Hearts games. I was super excited to play these until I found out there's a, thirst, a third one that's the first game in the series and I thought these were the first games. <laughs> so, on the search for that, let me know if you uh, happen to know where it would be. And to top it off, my, uh, this was from Matt from Forever Games. He's a very nice man. Happened to have something I've been looking for since I kind of started getting my PS2 collecting. And when I started, it was like 70 bucks. That was like five or six years ago. I finally got Dot Hack Quarantine. This thing has been eluding me for so long because I could never find the manual. And Matt gave me a terrific price on it, as well as the Vita and some other junk, and the Dragon Warrior 4 manual. If you've never been to Forever Games, you're doing yourself a disservice because that's a great stop. Um... I mean, I've gotten some other things. I've bought a brand new bed and junk like that. So the last thing I can point out is something my dad got me. This was out of the blue. This was just a couple days ago that I got it. And uh, 
you know, uh, I was probably 12. And I saw, I mean, me and my dad went to a movie theater, and I saw a trailer for this movie that just, it was a stoner comedy, but it looked dumb and funny. And it had a fat guy and an overcoat. And this nerd with a stocking cap with really long blonde hair. And that movie was called Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. And I eventually rented that movie because I, you know, it never came to our town because it was just, it's Jay and Silent Bob. If you've ever seen it, you know why it probably didn't come to a little conservative town like Finley. That being said, uh, I fell in love with Kevin Smith as a director. Um, I love his autobiographies. I not really delved too much into his comic book stuff. I'm a fan of comic book men because of him. I grew up enjoying comic books, so it's just kind of added to it. That being said, my favorite movie of all time is Clerks. And I've owned plenty of copies of it. But my dad uh, sent out one of my copies... And, uh, I, I, I had no clue about it. And we got Kevin Smith, Jason Mewes, and Bill, uh, uh, it's Bill O'Hillard, I believe is his name, who plays Dante. And, uh, it's kind of amazing that, like, I've gotten all this stuff in my house you know i've got tons and tons of video games and they're what i collect they're what i love but if a fire ever happened i think i'd miss this the most if i if i lost anything it would be the fact that my dad got me a copy of clerks signed by kevin smith and jason Mewes, who are kevin smith's basically uh my hero, and someone I kind of inspire to be a lot more like because he's a very positive guy. Uh, either way, sorry to drill on there for a second. The only other shit I can show you is I've gotten into Warhammer 40k, and I don't think anyone's all that interested in that. So, uh, if you are, hit me up. If not, thanks for watching the video. Um, leave a like. I mean, we're we're. we're you guys see me all the time anyway, posting up junk in Torgs about streaming and everything. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry. They told me I was allowed, so I'm going to probably keep doing it. But um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Later.